doing chale i decided to bring you this recipe because you know i love you all so today we are going to do an eggless cake i know there are people that prefer not to have eggs do not like the taste of eggs they're uh, just allergic to eggs or whatever reason they choose not to have eggs they would love to have a good cake but you know kind of don't know where to start so that's why i come in i have all my ingredients ready and what we're going to do is we're going to start with some greek yogurt and i like greek yogurt because it's nice and thick now if you have the regular plain or yogurt that is just a bit runny don't worry take a clean kitchen cloth pour in the yogurt hang it up and let the water drain off and then you'll have a nice thick yogurt so i have 190 grams of yogurt and to this i'm going to add about 150 grams of granulated sugar and then you're going to give this a whisk until the sugar kind of dissolves once that's done we're going to add in about 80 grams of oil I did not have enough sunflower oil, so I mixed a bit of olive oil to this. That also works as well. Once my mixture is done, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So one teaspoon of vanilla. There you go. Give this a quick whisk and then it's time to come in with our dry ingredients i have 190 grams of all-purpose flour and to this i'm going to add one tablespoon of cocoa powder and then i'm going to add in one and one quarter teaspoon of baking powder half a teaspoon of baking soda and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt so just get that in there now we're going to go in with a third of the mixture just a third and then mix this in and another third and the last bits now for the final part, I'm going to use my spatula. Now you'll find that this mixture is quite thick. So you're going to go in with about three tablespoons of full milk. You can also do buttermilk or coconut milk, whatever it is that you fancy. I have an alternative uh, way of doing this cake and it's with orange zest and orange juice. So right now I would add about three tablespoons of orange juice. And this is kind of the consistency that you want. And then we're going to go in with our red food coloring. About three quarters of a tablespoon so once everything is incorporated we're going to take our baking tin I'm using the 26 inch one and then we are going to pour in our butter you can see how smooth and velvety this is then we'll spread it all out this is how it looks like so this is going to go in the oven for about 40 minutes at 160 degrees, okay? Many, many minutes later. Many, many minutes later. Good morning, folks. It's another beautiful day and I'm back in the kitchen 
doing the frosting for our cake now the cakes have cooled down really really well and that's why i insist on baking at night so that by the time it's morning the cakes have cooled down and i don't need to refrigerate them or freeze them to make them cool faster so i have about 1250 ml of whipping cream and we are just going to whip this until it reaches soft peaks So once we get to this point, you can clearly see that it started to thicken. I'll go in with the other two ingredients that I'm using, and that is a bit of uh, vanilla, so about uh, half a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Let me just do a tablespoon because this looks a lot. And then some confectioned sugar. So this is just powdered sugar. And if you do not have powdered or icing sugar, I suggest you blend your sugar to get uh, powdered sugar. I really don't have a recipe for this, like how much sugar I add. I just add it until I feel like it's the right amount. So I add, I mix, I taste. If it's the right amount, we are good to go. To me, it's done, but there's a way to test if it's done. And it's quite risky this way is quite risky because if it's not done then it's going to fall flat on your face and this is quite a lot of icing so you need to turn your icing and if it stays put it's done if it doesn't then you haven't mixed it quite enough Our crumb coat is done. We're going to put this in the fridge for about 10 minutes. I've already created space in my fridge. Let's put this in there. 10 minutes is enough. And our cake is back. Looking ever so pretty. And now let's just go hammer. And that's it for this week's video guys this is the final product and I personally I'm very proud of it unfortunately I did not get to taste it but someone did send me a picture of how it looked like once they cut it and I just I drooled all over my phone because this looks absolutely delicious and <laughs> So thank you so much for watching guys. This has been your girl Sal's Comfort. Reminding you to like, to share, to subscribe. Okay? And catch me next week on yet another video on how to with Sal's Comfort. Ciao, ciao people.